On April 14th, the Red Hot Chili Peppers will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here's a rapid fire look at the band's complete, complex history. On February 13th, 1983, former Fairfax High friends Anthony Kiedis, Flea, Hillel Slovak, and Jack Irons performed at the Rhythm Lounge in Hollywood under the name of Tony Flo and the Miraculously Majestic Masters of Mayhem. The group proved so popular they proceeded to play gigs as the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Cliff Martinez and Jack Sherman stepped in after Slovak and Irons slipped out to focus on their other band. What is this? In 84, the Red Hot Chili Peppers released their debut album, The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Then Sherman was sacked and re by a returning Hillel Slovak. That year, they recorded Freaky Styley, an album produced by George Clinton. In 86, the band parted with Martinez and picked back up Irons. The following year, they released the Uplift Mofo Party Plan, their first album to break onto Billboard. Sadly, Slovak died of a heroin overdose on June 25, 1988. Irons quit, so Kiedis and Flea forged on with John Frusciante and Chad Smith. Their lineup released their breakthrough Mother's Milk in 89 and the multi platinum Blood Sugar Sex Magic in 91. Frusciante fled again in May 92. The Chili Peppers headlined Lollapalooza with fill in Arik Marshall. Dave Navarro of Jane's Addiction joined the band in 93, leading to one underwhelming album, One Hot Minute. Fortunately, Frusciante returned in 98 and three majorly massive albums followed California Kitchen by the way in Stadium Arcadium. In December 2009, Frusciante fled again. Now Josh Klinghoffer handles guitar duties. Their most recent record, I'm With You, was released in August 2011. The Hall of Fame will induct the four current members along with Frusciante, Irons Martinez, and the late great Slovak. And that was a quick look at the history of the Red Hot Chili Peppers.